Hello everyone! I'm back! I know it's been a year, and we're not gonna just die. Welcome to Love Spell, The Tune of Stars. The game was on sale, and I picked it up because I was a sucker for automobile games. So here we are. There's not much to say, I really hope that I fix the audio. Because I don't know how audio sounds like in the recording. I guess we should still check. Okay, so I'll feel a little loud in Joy July 15. Because this is loud. And it's been a while since I've seen Hot Men. So I hope to get delivered after tag this. I was after tag this. She looks adorable, and we have a magic circle behind us. Well, without further ado, let us proceed. New game. Computer, please don't crash on me. I don't want to redo the entire thing again. Oh my god, the pencil is cute. Ooh. You will not be able to change this. Name, name, name. What do we name you, my lovely protagonist? <laughs> we can name her my name because my name can technically with a little alteration can be a girl's name never mind we'll go with a proper we'll go with the name i often pick in automa games that is sophia don't know why but that is the oh god oh god s Small O, small F, small I, almost into capital A. Are we like supposed to do last name? No, no, no. Can I, can I just clean my, oh no, can, there's no backspace. God fucking damage. Why do this to me, Sophia? So, okay, there's no space. Confirm. Confirm. Thank you. Oh my god, that pencil is adorable. Would you like to see the tutorial? If it's your first time playing, we highly recommend it. Love Spell has different control than most similar genre games. Sure, I could make my life more difficult, but eh, I'm going to enjoy the game. We'll, we'll do this the hard way, easy way first. Obviously, we'll suffer later. So, I'm really excited. So, I know I have been missing for a while, but you know, life happens, shit goes. Oh my god, the intro. You open your eyes to see a strange pen in front of you. Oh my god, it has a penguin. Well, this is the best game already. For some reason, you feel compelled to shake it like crazy. Yes, slaughter the penguin! No! I don't think that's how John sounds like, but... Yo! Okay, I do... Wait, it's cute. But the look in his eyes says... Demented. <laughs> What's the penguin voice? Is this a penguin voice? It is very annoying. We'll be doing this voice. And hopefully I won't forget this voice by the time of the next episode. Yo, can't the penguin get some beauty skills? Rest in peace. Oh. Master Sophia? You're here already? Oh my god, Master Sophia, I like that. The strange penguin scrambles to straighten herself up before shooting you a smile. I, I mean, uh, welcome, I've been expecting you for 5,000 years. was a thousand. Dang, I forgot what the script said. You are truly my friend apprentice. Because I don't remember shit as well. <laughs> anyway, my name is, uh, please tell me the number of your name. Actually, <laughs> it's not important what my name is or who I am. You'll find out soon enough. Well, that's not cryptic at all, little penguin thingy. Huh? Where are you? Well, this is a magical realm. A space between worlds, also known as... The Tutorial! 
I don't know what that was, don't ask me. Hey, I saw those Zoll guys. You listen here. I had to give the game director a back message to get this job done. But I am adding words to dialogue. You get this job, so you better pay attention. And besides, we won't be here too long. Promise. Also, I'm completely sure I've completely forgot the voice I gave you, so. They didn't pay me enough in treats for that. Aw, poor pink girl. I'm sorry. So let's get started. We only have a few things to review before your adventure begins, so let's put our listening hats on, okay? Okay, Mom. First up, let's go with the four major controls of the game. Continue. Press the enter key. Quit. Press the escape key. Right click to proceed or confirm. Left click to go to settings. Oh, damn, I should do a customer service voice. I mean, I was kind of customer service. There's only four because this game was developed with a wide variety of audiences in mind. It is intended to be easy, breezy, lemon squeezy. Not head to toe with a bunch of funky controls. Aw, oh, how sweet. Most of these are pretty easy to remember, but I want to talk to you about is the escape key. Yes, I still run away from all my problems. Uh, you see, uh, I may or may not have accidentally spilled some dark magic on this key. While the developers were making it, I made it pretty powerful. So if you press escape, it will immediately close the game. Um... This comes in handy if you just need to close really fast, you know, like... Maybe there's an apocalypse outside or something. Or someone walks into my room. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Or some, if someone walks in the room and I'm on the screen and they are scared, they fall madly in love with me, that sort of thing. I get it, people might go your fears at this point. Listen, there's not enough to go around, hee hee hee. So yeah, just keep that in mind going forward. The next part is our game's navigation system. Oh my god, they already spoiled the love interest. But you know what? It's fine. Enix is my type. I also like the Marcelo. Oh god. Oh god, I have to pronounce names. Oh no. Okay. Marcello or Marcelo? Okay, there's a 50% chance I'm right. I like his hair. But I don't know if I like it enough. Whatever, we shall move on. The next part is our game's navigation system. As you play the game, you unlock different episodes of the zoots you choose to play. <coughs> Excuse me. This also means that once you've played through an episode, you can time travel back to it at any time to the navigation menu to relive re the magic. It works similar to a save load system, but cooler. Oh, so I don't have to manually save every choice. Mm, that could come in handy. I, 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 I guess that could be nice. And once you unlock all the episodes of every loot in the entire game, well, who knows what will happen. Oh my god, that's a secret ending. The prophecy foretells a glimpse into a new path may unveil itself. Oh, so there's like a Halloween ending? I mean, I'm kidding. They won't put a Halloween ending. I really hope they have one. <laughs> At least that's what the editor said during her lunch break. Lunch break, coffee break. As you can tell, I cannot read. So this would be lovely if there's no voice acting, which I was giving there's not, so I'll have to do everything. Your narrative is going to be extremely unreliable. Anyways, that's it for the tutorial. Now you're set to start on your own magical journey, adventure. Oh, and one last thing, for the best possible user experience, when playing Love Spell, try to keep all tabbing and constant switching between different programs on your computer to a minimum. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me, you're kinda cool, I know I am cool. Maybe I'll pass my class again, sooner than you think. <laughs> Yeah. 
how are Philia's favorite students? We got an achievement. So, is your name Philia? So that's for that as well. What the fuck can we do? Before spell, a magical encounter, throw your og. Those who do not believe in magic will never find it. Roll Dhal. Dhal, I, I'm pretty sure it's that. I like some of his poems. Ooh, oh my god, the background is adorable. That's edge work. Okay, so we're gonna have to learn how to settings. Oh my god, the child is so cute. Yeah, how do I hide uh, things? Is there no hiding? I want to look at this gorgeous background. Okay, no. Well, we shall appreciate it like this. The sun's early rays peek out over the hills of the Pist of Pistoria town. A bustling suburban gem nestled between the mountains and the sea. Oh my. So that's it. As the morning light paints streaks of pastel across the sky, it signals the start of a brand new day. I can't help but stifle a loud yawn as I close the door to my apartment and head out on my morning commute. Sophie! Oh my god, you are adorable! You're so adorable! Sophia. <clears throat> Another morning, another day, another adventure. So I say, but I've hardly slept awake. I sit up late night reading too many fanfics again. Oh god. That's gonna be killer. Sophia, you're my best friend. My thoughts link to the hard wrenching romance adventure that kept me up all night yesterday. As I start my journey to the town's local university. Oh, so you're reading a hard wrenching romantic adventure? I just read smart. We can still be friends, I'm just saying. Seriously though, what even was that cliffhanger? After the heroine finally confessed her love to him too? Uh, how long? I, I need to know what happens or I won't be able to move on with my life. Author, please update soon. I really hope it's not a whip or you will be sad for all eternity. As I walk through my usual commute, I reach up steps I've taken many times before, but all seems a bit different than usual today under the morning lights glow. Hardship decoration and advertisements for couples seem to have started overnight outside many shops and streets, signaling the coming of one of the town's local festivals. My eyes follow various couples walking hand in hand, sharing fresh coffees, lobster looks, and stifled giggles. <sighs> Another year of Luna Dum. At least my favorite snack will be on snail. My eyes flock to one particularly lovey dovey couple sharing donuts as the girl laughs into a person's coat. Oh my god! The boy smiles as he kisses her forehead, the soft look in his eyes says all one needs to know. Aw, oh, how sweet. It sickens me to my core. Still, it must be really nice though, having someone you can look at like that. Oh, uh, when I'm saying I have junk food and video games, I can live out my life like this just fine. Girl. 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 Even I wish so much. Still, we play these games for QP or something, alright? I grip the strap of my back tighter as I pick up my pace towards my bus stop, far away from the crowded street of love. Oh, we got to see the background properly. Oh, it's pretty. I like the cute hat thing in the corner. Morning Russia has officially started. Thank you for tripping over my own feel. I gingerly step past lines of seats for the commuters on my local bus before finally finding an open space near the middle. I sit down and glance around to see all sorts of people caught up in their daily activities. Yes, creep on them girls, Sophia stare into their souls. 
from our reading the newspaper or some are playing food games and others are pleasantly chatting about their weekend plans. Can't relate. Oh, I like the music. The guy's been beating up and down, yeah. Ah, what a peaceful morning. I've crossed my phone now. Yeah, I have this charm, it's so adorable. I want merch. I have to go for it, but I want it. Oh? I looked down to read a text message from one of my classmates. Hey, do you know what time the library opens? I need to print out my paper for class today. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Cause ah, the paper. I'm sorry for the ear bleaching. Run 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 run. I completely forgot about you yesterday. I think I'm you today. My professor is going to kill me if I don't tell something in this time. This time, it means what? What do you mean this time? Oh my god, you forgot something last time. I have a ventilator. I think a few stages of I I tied few things to my phone. It's fine, it's still early. I can just go to the library first and write it before class. But that will definitely work. So much more peaceful morning. Please don't rush into a guy already. Like, it's been like 15 minutes, girl, for the love of God. The bus is idle, trying to come to your hush, and the bus stops, and a conspicuous figure walks in. I curiously look up to see an elderly woman emerge through the gates. Her appearance is more than eye catching, to say the least. Alongside her, she carries a bag of all sorts of strange feathers, jewels, and is that a mummified lizard? Wait for you, lady. Oh my god, you're pretty! Hello, lady! Would you like my seat, ma'am? Ma'am? Mommy? Ma'am? Mommy? Ma'am? Lady? Elderly woman? Hello? <laughs> People begin to mumble and shuffle to the side as the strange woman makes her way down to the crowded aisle of Check out this feature. Excuse me? Commuter 1? Commuter 2? Want me to bit slap your ass? Somebody bust up with Halloween? <laughs> Those comments were loud and ruder, but the old woman's expression remains unfazed as, the, as she slowly sits down across from me. Commuter 3? You can be better. Commuter 1 and 2, you as well. Please reevaluate this choice. Was it necessary to say this? Did this bring you joy? That is all. Crazy grandma, she's heading out looking like that? Oh my god. Haha, <laughs> I'm totally enjoying this. And out of my eyes, the foul mountain gossipers. No, we are gonna stab them. I glance back to the old. At the old woman, see that although her face remains motionless and unfazed, her, her eyes seem to hold a small tinge of sadness. Slot your them, slot your them. We are gonna speak up. You know what? She is an old lady who's minding her business. Better shut up. Hey! Just because someone looks a little different, that doesn't give you any right to look down on them. Haven't you been taught any manners, bitches? Jeez, sorry, lady. The gossip starts and the bus takes off. Yeah, right, it does. The rest of the patrons go back and take to their phones and usual business. Aww, oh, she's happy. I can't have the old woman looking at me. She flashes a small smile in my direction. You're welcome, old lady. <laughs> Who also really looks like a witch, I should say that. She is just another, you know, ethereal garb with feathers and strange things in her bag, so. As I get off the bus, I spot the old woman's figure retreating away in the opposite direction. Suddenly, a curious looking trinket falls out of her bag and bounces on the floor. I pick it up and chase after her. Hey, wait! It went silent, why? The old woman looks down as she steps into a busy crosswalk. 
Silent the Crossing sign came on the side, but the old woman doesn't seem to know this and continues, Oh my god! To my horror, I spot a car approaching the intersection at a dangerous speed. Other passersby take notice of the situation as well, but none take action. What is wrong with you bystander affected people? Oh my god. Watch out! Oh my god, I don't wanna scream in case you all go deaf. With a desperate lunge, I ran and forcefully pulled the old woman back and narrowly avoiding a collision as the speeding car angrily honks while driving by. You are honking at me? Yeah, bitch? Fine, whatever. I let out a shaky breath as I helped save the old woman and bent down to pick up her bag. Woman, you won't have died. Please pay attention next time. Ma'am, are you okay? Didn't you see the light change? And suddenly I look up at the old woman's face. To see her grinning from ear to ear? Hehehe! <laughs> oh god, you have to give her a voice. Hehehe. <laughs> Strong and fair. Righteous and true. Why, I'm so lucky to meet a girl like you! Oh my gosh, she's eyes. This is the best thing that happened. Best thing that ever happened. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm perfectly fine. I'll thank you, my dear. Oh, she's fine. Oh, why? I'm perfectly fine. I'll thank you, my dear. Thank you for saving this silly old woman. Of course, I'm sorry I pulled you so roughly. I couldn't just stand by and watch you as you got hurt. My word, what a benevolent young child. Did you see that today's youth still has some hope left? I know, right? I am the hope of humanity. Right, uh, Heinz, I think? Oh, I hear you dropped the soul here. I heard you were both the oddly decorated bag and the same trinket from before. Oh goodness, why well, thank you dearie, I don't know what would happen if I were to lose this bag of tricks here. Now then, I cannot simply let such a selfless act go unrewarded. Tell me child, what is your name? My name is Sophia. And no need for the placement of any sort, hee <laughs> hee. I'm just really glad you're safe. Oh, pish posh, come on, my dear. No need to be shy. Someone with a noble heart like yours deserves to have their wish come true. Now tell me, what is it your heart desires most? Hmm? Immortal youth, the power to fly, a romance for the ages. Leave your price, my child. Well, is, uh, is all of them an option? I can't tell her to do my research for me, for me can I? You can! <laughs> well, if any of those things were attainable, I think I'd go probably go for the last one. Oh! Travel in the romance department? Huh? Huh? Well, it's your lucky day. I just have a thing to mend your troubles. The old lady rummages to her large bag for a few moments. I lift my head in confusion when I hear clanking and sloshing sounds. I'm quickly distracted when she triumphantly pulls out a small pink notebook emblazoned. Emblazoned. Oh, I like the word emblazoned. With golden borders and a heart shaped gem in the middle. It's a pretty diary. I'll, I'll take it. I'll be like, good reward. Thank you, ma'am. Here, my gift to you, dearly. Uh, a notebook? Hee <laughs> hee, why yes? I suppose you could call it that. This should be able to make all your wildest, most romantic fantasies come true. Oh my, oh my. The old lady smiles as she pushes the pink notebook into my hand. And here, take this too, in case you ever find yourself in need of a friend. The old lady hands me a quirky looking pen and tablet and the bubble bubbles and seems to resemble a small pen with a Are you friend? My friend, you will be my only friend because I don't think, because I need someone to bitch about all the guys too, so thank you. 
Also, I really hope hope this game has good CG. It's like because the art so far is beautiful. Like look at these Sakura trees in the background. Like it's a very basic uh, CG. You know, just a street with Sakura. But damn, does it look pretty? And we have a glow. We have a, a delightfully enamorous pencil. A pencil. I don't want to hurt her feelings, so I guess I'll just take it. What do you mean it's a beautiful pen? Oh, thank you very much, ma'am. You're too kind. Run! A nearby bell tower chimes, signaling the start of a new hour. I gasp loudly as I remember my unwritten paper due to next class. Sophia, run. Well, well, it was nice to meet you. I need to go now, but thank you for the gifts. Please be careful with crossing the street. Bye! The old woman suddenly grasped my arm with a much stronger grip than I expected her to have. She pulls me close enough to whisper, Oh my, scandalous! Oh boy, she was serious. Hold on now, child. A final word of warning before we part ways. Make sure you read the instructions in this book very carefully. Lest you end up in a situation you'd rather not be in. Sophia, you're not gonna follow this advice, are you? Go ahead, I will, I have to go now, bye! Hee <laughs> hee, have fun! We are not following any other advice, are we? I quickly stuffed the notebook and the funny looking bag went into my bag and I split off towards my university. I have a very weak throat, like I've only been talking for like around 27 minutes and I am tired. I told you, I still want to keep playing though. Sometimes you make sacrifices for what we want. So, this is my sacrifice. I shuffle around in my seat in class, shiftily attempting to avoid my professor's eye at all costs. Sophia, why are you like this? I got the paper done in time. Barely. But no one mentioned the stupid quiz. I tilt my head forward, sulking, and I share the most blankly, mostly black answer she did find me. This guy's a professor. Really, bitch? Really? So, but let's see after class with some extra credit. <laughs> oh god, Professor Atlas. Oh god, we have to give the sexy voice. I, listen, I can't do sexy voices. What to do? Well, the way, way more ridiculous voices that will make any heart to heart seem absolutely hilarious. But I do my best to give them a voice that I can remember. <laughs> Let's see of your child thoughts, shall we? Please remember to write your names and my numbers at the top of the scantron sheet. I don't know what scantron sheets are. So, sorry, it's off. So, they need to professor to be the cheery smile. You need to know his personality will give him a voice. Right, Miss Sophia, because nothing said I did my assignment on the morning news. Don't forget to write your own name on your paper. Oh my god, we're gonna give him a big passive of this fishy voice. Go ahead. Professor Atlas stopped in front of my desk and hands me back my recently written paper. I see that giant red circle with question marks at the very top. A lot of snickers stood up from the crowd as they watched me scroll nervously and there's a professional stuff sharp game. Is it sharp or is it horny? Because I'm feeling a little bit of both. He didn't have to call me out like that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was absolutely beautiful. Ah, it's a teacher romance. It's kind of like enemy level banter. Delicious. 
the university bell chimes signaling the end of class. He's gonna make you see a back of the theater. Students do this I love their fees to line up and jump their buzzers at the front of the city for classroom. And I professor actually had his team behind eagerly talking to some more than eager few of the students. Oh my god! Professor, you are whole! I mentally just for a small player before submitting my first into the stack with a design, sour, sigh, and tone to me. Ah, Sophia! Please remember to like your video on the next week's assignment. Wow, you bitch! After all, it's also a challenge when trying to figure out which paper is yours. I'll have hit this at this work book before people just think I'll have to go in my direction. <sighs> I sigh my eyes like at the mocking smile like that at the professor's lips before charging out the door. A demon, that's what he is. A sexy demon if he I that, so we can really be mad. I mean we can be mad a little. He had to make fun of me in front of other people, let like him balance me like that. But he is very hard. What other what class was that? He didn't find out what class that was, that's okay. And then that small sign and walk into my favorite cafe. Cafe is still alive, a small coffee shop hidden away down an alley behind campus. Well, you get on the secret of location, it's not if they quiet. It's a coffee message here now. So, what's with this color then? An unusually large color for a young girl added to the small cap. Oh, there's a hot guy, but there's a hot body in your guy. Um, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I got to push my video, but I need to throw some oil commotion attention. Balista, oh my, oh my, oh, oh my, oh my. You ain't bad looking, son, you ain't bad looking, oh my. You got me feeling a little something, something. Can I check? Oh god, I have to get. I feel like he's a guy from more of an angelic voice, which I can't do, and not my shoulder is really itching. Do it twice. With each episode, I shall strengthen this big vocal cord of mine. This is what happens when you have no friends. Kids, you don't develop these kids when you were younger. Can I take your... Nah, that's too similar. <coughs> and I don't make light voice, that's the biggest issue. Can I take your honor, miss? You can take my last name! Oh my god, it goes. Whoa, who is he? A new employee? I've never seen him here before. Hello, Mr. Just... Ah, there's not best customer. Welcome back, Sophia. Quite a busy day today, eh? Have you met a new police yet? He's quite handsome, isn't he? <laughs> He's good for business. I know. I wonder what other businesses he went to. <laughs> I can see that, this is quite a crowd. I have to check it for another few business visits or the cafe is on. I just need to glance at the police that from afar. Eventually his gaze flickers out and see baby smile. Hello there, welcome. Oh my. I named Doug and it says Jamie. The name suits you, but I don't like that name. Well, maybe you'll make it be screamed by the end of the game, I don't know. <laughs> Why am I like this? He's very cute, but somehow he looks a little familiar. I can't put my finger on why. He's a child of friend. That's not about his reality, and soon it will knock him to me on the way out. I realize then that my typical state a uh, typically quiet cave has recently been overtaken. I sigh as I make my way outside and miss the chaos.
Give him a heart, guys, and one day. I mean, Professor, we've been seeing for a while. Also, I've been wondering, because the game has no like, save feature, it has like a chapter select feature. What are, I'm assuming there's a prologue right now, correct? So, I'm assuming we'll have the prologue, then maybe we'll have one, two, like, common chapters before, like, root deciding chapters. And then we'll have chapter divided storyline. I mean, I'm presuming that's how this game will go, but we'll see. Let's proceed. I found angrily as I walked out of the Bustin Cafe. Today sucks. Ah, uh, whatever, you had in mind to get some delicious coffee. Maybe this is the pick me up I need in. Excuse me? Just as I bring the ice glass into my lips, I feel a force was shut from behind. Out of see I close my eyes and I probably tumble forward towards the hard concrete. But to my surprise, I can't crash into a much softer surface. There he is after him! My attention is drawn to the sounds of running as I glance back to see a man's cheating figure as he was sprinting off as two other men in suits gave, gave chase after him. My attention is directed forward again as the scent of a, as a strong scent of muscular cologne fills the air. Oh my god! I slowly lift my gaze up to discover I'm essentially cutting into the chest of a very large, very ugly looking man. Great. Oh my god, you look demonic. This is a great person, but I should have I'm doing minus 5 points for the soul if I am. Hi, buddy! I'm a situation thing that I jump off like a cat only to realize that I'm going to put my once my, once my eyes large is not so easy to man, expensive to be Well, not my fault. You ran into me outside of a cafe. Your fault, bitch, not mine. Oh, oh god, that is too more voices. Why are there so many fucking love interests? Oh, great. Just This was my brand new suit, too. So much for that. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I can't laugh. I quickly grab some tacos. Where did you grab a tacos from? I take you back to the street driver and the man said he jacked my arms away and growled that he excused me. So you better be part bullshit. Oh my god, I'm not into this. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I can't laugh. I quickly grab some tacos. Where did you grab a tacos from? I take you back to the street driver and the man said he jacked my arms away. That's how you trying to clean up a suit that was more than a million dollars? Does this suit have gold in it? Like more than 550%? Oh my god, I don't If I could sell my dad and the collection, I still would be able to cover that. I like how that's the thing you're willing to sell. I would sell, I don't know, my organs. I don't really need all of them. My family, maybe, if we just check them away. Two suited men split back towards the angry large man. Boss, we lost them. He could have gone far though. We should head towards the docks. What an accident is that? Ugh. The intimidating looking man shoves me aside after he hands me a business card. The card only has a name and a phone number. Marcelo Dinucci. Oh god, I had butchered that. Marcelo Dinucci. I expect a call from you later. My plans for the reimbursement of the suit. Chutes? Totes? He glared at me one last time before turning around spitting away with the rest of his black teeth. How am I supposed to reimburse a million? I 
then I, I get the car and then I make a cup of fresh coffee a formalized latte oh my god that I did not get up dude what a joke he was the one who bumped into me exactly you don't need to be impossible or anything call him not with your real numbers okay don't let him have a job today call him and show him who's the boss around here bitch Baby, back my eyes latte, you jerk! Why did you say that in his face? Well, just because he's a jerk to all of Because he looks like no one who's rich like that, you runs around to, to grab people himself, okay? I was never not in game, but I think there's a jacket outside. I'm not sure that's all you guys. I don't know if you went home. I drag my feet to the street of the side and escape. This day get any worse, I need to drink. No, Skyjay, I need to. Just had to reach out to grab the local pub with your swings open from the other side, hitting me square in the face. Hello, my hot man number four. Oh my god. Sophia, you a ho. Really, three hot men in one day, and now fourth one. Oh my god. Fucking god. This boy is pretty cute actually. No, I'm actually like he's my favorite already. Yeah. The professor is snarky, we have to see his personality. But he's pretty and he has a nice piercing and I like his like entire blue theme it looks good on him. And his hair has a beautiful like... It's like dye, I'm assuming. Unless it's natural, I doubt that. And his piercing blue eyes and like mole and oh my god the face chill structure and like clothes. I'm not getting late tonight. <laughs> he, he's out of my league. Sophia Gold, he's out of our league. Just say goodbye and go. Oh shoot, I'm. Oh god, I have to do another voice. He looks like a sweet guy. He's apologizing. He's asking if we are concerned. Oh, oh shoot, I'm, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Wait a minute, Sophia? Is, is that really you? Oh my god, is he a childhood friend? I feel a shiver that right down my spine and I slowly turn my head to meet a familiar pair of eyes blue eyes. Oh my god, oh my god, please be friends. E Enix, what are you doing here? <sighs> What's with that face? Huh? Is that any way to greet a friend you haven't seen in so long? Oh my god, he looks so cute that shit. Oh my god, oh my god. This is the sound of me beating the shit out of my pillow! <laughs> I feel the blood rush to my face and I simply stare at all at the man before me. He's become a man, he ain't a boy anymore, bitch! Enix Ray, one of my childhood best friends and my teacher's lifelong crush. Girl, you have the advantage, he knows you from beforehand and he doesn't know how hot he's become, hopefully. You can snag this one. Snag him. Also, I do want to wrap this episode up, but now that I've seen him, I don't really want to anymore. I I, I, I thought you were studying abroad. I am. My university is currently on break, so I'm only really back in town for a bit. Still, it's, it's really good to see you again, Sophia. I'm really glad we bumped into each other. Uh, just so you know, I owe like a really rich man a million bucks, so I need to help me pay it. What can I do? I feel my heart study for who's wooden study or is that guy that gorgeous in front of you? Emotions I thought I'd lock away deep into my heart a long time ago, feel as if they're coming back to the surface. Girl, girl, Enix, I. Well, well, look what the old cat drank did. Who is this? A voice? And a voice, another familiar looking woman steps out the door and onto the sidewalk beside her. You are pretty, but you look mean. <laughs> she wears a confident smile on her face as she clutches her expensive looking purse closer to her thin frame. 
I know how he did it. Elsa, Elsa, Isa, Elsa, Elsa fan. My other former childhood friend and rival. Elsa? Duh, who else? Hi Sophia, long time no see you look. Well, the same as ever, really. Wow, I got the compliment. Elsa tells you face meaning and gives them a quick kiss. On the cheek before licking out You bitch! How dare you! He belongs to me and me alone! She narrows her eyes at me before flashing Enix a coy smile, almost as if to make sure I'm watching. Enix really her? You picked her over me? Sorry for making you wait, sweetie. There was a line for the restroom. I hope you understand. Babe, please. I thought we talked about the whole PDA thing. He calls her babe. Fuck. Listen. Listen. I may be a hoe and Sophia may be a hoe. But we don't go after people in committed relationships. Okay? We don't wreck homes, okay? We have standards. Admittedly, they are very, very low, but we have some. Sorry, Enix. Of course, the hottest guy in the relationship. Why I think he would be single? I cast my gaze down as memories that I would have much preferred to never remember. Right back to my mind. I tug at the hem of my jaws. There is for looking up. Uh, right, I forgot you guys are dating now. You forgot anything, no? How, how times change, huh? I, um, never got the chance to properly congratulate you both. Why thanks? We were just celebrating at a bar like the old days. After all, Enix was just accepting job when it was at his medical program. Medical program? Wow, I, I will never guess that from you, Enix. Yeah, well, I'm studying to become a doctor now. A truly remarkable career choice, and I was just accepted to one of the most prestigious law schools overseas, too. You want to be a doctor, you are really sound really confident. What about you, Sophia? What's your life plan looking like? Fuck. I can't help but slowly cast my gaze down slightly. Life plan? I don't even know where I'm going to eat for dinner tonight. I um, just finished making the course requirements, but I'm still not about to sign on a major. <laughs> Something never really changed, do they? Well, we have to go, but it was nice seeing you, Sophia. Let's all hang out one day. For old time's sake, you know. Cha cha. Bye, Capanello. Enix and I lock eyes for a few moments before he blinks away and slowly waves. I watch as they walk off, hand in hand, down a familiar street and out of sight. I spin around quickly, while the tears forming my eyes. I take a few deep breaths before I walk into the bar. Old times my ass. And I got sad very quickly. But you still have three other men to hook up with, you can't come with this part. But you have three other options, you know. I plan my exam down the county. Girl, don't drink your promise of it, I would saw anything. I don't know the one! I need to drink this entirely, I mean, god damn it. Oh my, look back in there, even you are hot. Oh dear, sounds like someone has tried a good day. Oh, doctor, even covering. 
I just had the worst day of my entire life. Again, I wonder what happened this time. Well, first, my demon teacher makes fun of me for the whole class. <laughs> Everyone thinks he's a superb and a star, but I think I'm true, and he's a tyrant. I mean, he is a star, but it doesn't mean that you can't be kind of a star. <sighs> Ouch. Don't forget, tell me you forgot to write your name on your assignment again. He was planning in these bloodthirsty fangirls arguing over this new police study hall, so I couldn't get any studying done. Oh, I think I've seen this new police study hall. It's only familiar for some reason. Just, oh my god, you're like, give me hints. I know, right? I totally thought the same thing. And after some jerk lunch sent to me, spells my confident demand, I pay his ugly million dollar suit back. That's nice of a suit here, yeah, super boy. Ah, yeah, I've seen those suits in the before. They come here often in the meetings. They're quite lively, but they don't seem to be coming along here. I keep on giving us bad information. And the worst part! I ran into my childhood crush, but not seeing him since high school. I think I together with my childhood enemy. Boom! 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 Can you believe I got billeted for not having a major? What if I want to make a king or something, huh? Yup! That's what too many can do tonight! You're right! I'm leaving! I'm leaving the tab here! I don't get the show as I look at the counter as I sign to the gold mark. Worst day ever. Good, your life is a hard mess, so is mine. As another customer calls the young body to Oa, I pull out my bag. The pink one got a quirky pen from Oa, they pull out in the computer. Oh yeah, I see the same as a sweet old lady today. She will be over, she's not a kind of nice. You are too young, you're saying you're sick now. I forgot she gave me this little notebook, I think she mentioned something about instruction. Go on your junk! Haha, ah, but who even reads those? Am I right? Bowling! Don't say that, she said that to do this game, okay? I opened the notebook only to find myself staring into the blank pages. Ah, but there's nothing here, it's completely blank. Guess it's the leaves of the regular old notebook. Ah, but she said, I'm like, Come true or something. Hmm? Wait, there's something written here at the front. Ooh, magical music. Candle burn and flame glow higher. May our pass passion catch on fire. Love and lust are and the intertwine. This is what you need to find. Ah, there's more. Da 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 da. Write a name into this book. Thus a spell shall be cast. Until the next full moon's look, you will have a love that lasts. Oh, this has a past selection. What am I reading? I don't understand what is this. Beware of the power above and not below, for the heart heals no mistress. Should you become entangled in thorns, Chula Skull will be your sister. Okay, I guess I know a little. Which is this a good story? I don't understand anything. Where did that someone's name in? Maybe it's like it's like a hex book or something. Ha ha ha! Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Girl, you're hexing your friends? 
Whose lyrics should I write down? The story begins. Okay, so this is how we begin on our loot. Now this is interesting because I don't know like in some games they have a preferred order. I am going in completely blind, so I have no idea. Well, we know Jamie Clapton with Nilo, I don't think you did told us that. Nilo Slay, the childhood friend. Florian Atlas, the genius professor. Jamie and Nilo, Jamie Nilo, the familiar barrister. Marcelo Di Nucci, the jerk. I feel like we should be going to order the encounter them because we need to all doubt eventually I'm assuming. I'm assuming I may have time to do them all. And also I the feeling is easy if we're in a relationship, I don't wanna write a chart with this game I wanna play. We all in access to demon professor it is. We have bound him to a spell. Ha la la. Okay, I think we will stop there for now. We'll start the Florian Diamond the Rough episode 1 next time. So thank you everyone. This has been amazing. The game is lovely. The art is beautiful. The music was amazing. I, I love the game, honestly. I love all the characters. I hate that I can't do any voices. Like, I... We need to like get some friend in here who can voice that, so we can like maybe do it together. But overall, fun game. I need to figure out if I can edit this though. Because I have a few memes that would be perfect in certain scenes. But I have never edited before, so I shall test things out. Also, I know I have gone for a year. Things became very, very like, technically troubling because my laptop has and still has an issue of randomly crashing, which is something I cannot help. So that really discouraged me from, you know, recording games because there was no point if I was recording just crashing halfway through and I can re-record entire thing. And if I'm doing a blind playthrough, then it's not blind anymore. Then I just have to, you know, just pretend and say the exact thing I did last time. There's no fun for me either, so I didn't want to do that. Right now I'm hoping the crashing is it gonna happen less? It's still probably gonna happen. And in case like editing what time it crashes a lot, then I'll just uh, upload these like raw clips. Like right now I'm like 58 minutes into my recording. And we'll see. This is mostly for my enjoyment and yours. So I hope you guys have fun as well. Also, the game is amazing. Looking forward to more. Flory, this is name. Interesting. Also, he is really hot, and they are calling him a diamond in the rough, oh my god. Also, a professor teacher romance, who doesn't love that? Well, that is our time for today. I shall see you guys next time. Take care, my little mumskitties. I can't use that as someone else if I need to think of my own. Ah, uh, oh yes. Farewell, my boobalicious. Goodbye, everyone. Take care, have fun, and I'll see you all. Hopefully tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. I have to go somewhere. I'll see you maybe in 10 days. Bye. Or in a year. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, bye for now.